Are you thinking about buying an iPad Pro? You think you can replace your laptop or desktop computer with one? Well, stick around and find out. You see, I've been using my iPad Pro for the past six months as my main computing device, and I'll be sharing with you what I've learned along the way. So in this very first video, it's going to be very short. I simply want to go over the, the basics, and that is how to protect your iPad and go over the use of a keyboard. So first things first, you want to protect your investment. These things aren't cheap. So go out and buy a case. Okay, so I got one here. Um, it looks a lot like Apple's um, case that, that they sell. However, this one, this one uh, protects the back as well, where the Apple's does not. And this is a really beautiful case. It's got this rubbery textured feel to it. I love it. It's got a nice grip to it. It's not bulky. It adds zero um, size, hardly any size to the, to the thickness of the iPad uh, or weight. It's a really, really wonderful case. And I'll put the um, link in the description where you can buy this particular case. I got this on Amazon. I think I paid like I don't know, under $20 for it. So it's an excellent, excellent case. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about keyboards. Okay. This is really important because if you're going to use an iPad as your main computing device, you're not going to like using the, the on-screen keyboard that's, that's on the screen of the iPad. Okay. It's, that's fine for, for, quick temporary work but if it's a full-time all day long thing you're gonna want a real keyboard that you can get your hands on okay and I suggest buying an external full-sized Bluetooth keyboard and here's why if you buy first of all if you buy the I have the 9.7 smaller iPad Pro and if you buy the keyboard that Apple sells it's a smaller keyboard Okay, so it's not a full size, the keys are tiny, and, um, and that's not great. It's not what I want. Next, if you buy uh, a, a case that, that almost turns your iPad into what looks like a laptop where the, where the connects and it closes and now you got the keyboard and the, and the screen built into this one piece device, I don't recommend you use those unless they can be pulled apart and used separately. Because just like a laptop computer, think about it. If you're using a laptop as your full-time computer, they're not ergonomically correct. You see pictures of it all the time um, where people take their laptops and they, they, uh, they raise it up on a, on a monitor arm or something so that the screen is, uh, is, is higher up. And you have to go out and buy an external keyboard and you're putting your keyboard down below, right? So the same thing happens. You're really going to want to raise this screen up to an eye height position that's ergonomically correct so that you're not looking down at it um, because you're going to put strain on your neck and on your back. So you want to be able to prop this up and I'll be talking about that in another video. And um, so that's why I like having two key a separate keyboard. So I bought Actually, I bought this. This is the Apple keyboard, full-size keyboards by Apple. I love it because it's so super thin. And this is the keyboard that I used with my laptop. So I didn't have to buy anything. I just paired it with this, and it works perfect. Okay? And I love this. is my favorite keyboard in the world. It, the, the, the feel, the touch of the keys are, are just excellent and wonderful. Uh, I believe they still sell these things. Um, you could still find them at Best Buy for like 60 bucks or something like that. And, and it's, I love it because um, they're separate, but yet if I need to bring it somewhere, I could throw these things into a bag and take it with me or just leave one at home. I have one at home. I have one at work. And so I just carry this thing back and forwards between my office and home. So I don't even have to carry this with me at all. So it's great. So, you know, if I do decide to travel, uh, Sometimes I'll go without the keyboard and I'll just use it. Okay, but that's a great, great keyboard. I just love it. And uh, I do have another one that I use uh, in my house at home. And this one's by Logitech. 
And what I love about this one is a couple of things. Uh, it's, it's actually a three-in-one device. It has these little knobs here so that you can control three different devices with this keyboard. So when I have it switched to number one, it controls my desktop computer, which I still have, of course. I'm not going to get rid of it just because I have one of these now. Um, I could switch the, the little dial here to number two, and that will that is actually programmed for my cell phone, so I can reply to text messages and, and type here, and, and the text goes on my cell phone. And if I switch it to number three, it controls my iPad. So it's a really neat device. And it also even has this groove here where it can hold the iPad. This great little stand. Uh, it can hold my phone in there as well. And it works perfect. It's a great device. It's by Logitech. Highly recommend it. It's uh, really, really nice. Well, that's all for today's video. Next time, I will go over keyboard shortcuts and multitasking. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.